Time now for your morning rush. A body found in the Rio Grande near Tierra C may be linked to a welfare check of a small child. A welfare check was made for five year old Shaquille Ferguson Jr. Police say the boy was reported last seen with a family member near the river by Rotary Park. On Friday, a police dive team found a body. OMI will determine if it is a small child. Police are asking for your help in finding a missing elderly Navajo woman. The family of 62 year old Ella May Begay believes that she was taken from her Sweetwater home in Arizona last week. Police say 21 year old Preston. And told was in the area where Begay was last seen. He's now listed as a person of interest. There's a new trail for mountain bike enthusiasts to tackle in the Towski Valley. The Green Chili Flow Trail is open for its first full summer season. The new Blue Corn Trail will offer a tougher experience for more experienced riders later on this summer. Erica. Here's a look at the morning commute forecast. Temperatures in the upper 70s right now in the metro, climbing into the low 80s by 9 with dry, sunny skies through the afternoon and hot temps in the 90s. Donana County is working to make sure seniors are taken care of in the county. Amigo Sedazo Senior Program will have a deputy or volunteer either call or visit that person. To be eligible for the program, seniors must be at least 60 years or older. Summer internships for high school students are now open at Sandoval County. Interns must be able to work at least 12 hours per week for six weeks. Interns can rank the jobs they would most be interested in, including culinary interest, IT, social media, and city and county government jobs. For details, go to KRQE.com. Fire crews continue battling multiple fires around our state this morning. The lightning caused Johnson fire burning west of the Gila Cliff dwellings has burned nearly 85,000 acres. Fire officials say that Inquan fire near Mora has burned 532 acres so far. In the Carson National Forest, the Pozo fire is burning 2,000 acres. It's 55 percent contained. We're hoping to learn more details today about a homicide investigation in southeast Albuquerque. APD says officers are called out to Vassar and McEarl around 7.30 last night about a person being shot. That's near Gerard and Cole. That person later died at the hospital. Their identity has not been released. Erica. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index today. It's low to moderate. We will have very hot temperatures and a slight chance for an isolated shower or storm during the evening. Happening today, a detention hearing is set for Jennifer Munoz. Investigators believe the 26 year old drove through a red light at the intersection of Tower and Anser late last month. She was reportedly going more than 50 miles per hour over the speed limit, crashing and killing Janelle Cadesigua. Police say that she blew above the legal limit of intoxication that day. The trial starts today for Colorado, in Colorado, I should say, for Mark Redwine. Redwine is charged with second degree murder and child abuse following the death of his 13 year old son, Dylan, back in 2012. Redwine's trial had been postponed nearly a dozen times since he was arrested back in 2017. Last year, a judge declared a mistrial in the case after defense attorneys claimed they contracted COVID 19. APD Chief Harold Medina is hosting a Facebook Live town hall discussing crime trends. Medina will be joined by leaders from APD's six area commands. They'll be discussing not only crime trends in their geographic areas, but also what they're doing to lower criminal activity. That meeting set to be on APD's Facebook page this evening at 5 p.m. Eric. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. Here's a look at the maps. They are clear, no accidents or slowdowns as of now, and Tracker is going east on I-40 at 6th Street. Have a safe drive into work. This morning in Santa Fe, residents are being encouraged to celebrate Making Music Day of all genres. Make Music Santa Fe is hosting virtual summer events, including a free giveaway of harmonicas and free ukulele lessons. Events start at 9 o'clock this morning with live musical performances taking place throughout the day. They are all free to attend. Finally, the Albuquerque Bioparks Reptile staff got quite the surprise just in time for World Croc Day. The zoo's 48-year-old female laid a clutch of 10 West African slender snouted crocodile eggs. So officials say it's unlikely the eggs are fertile since she has not been with the male for at least seven years. The West African slender snouted crocodile is considered critically endangered in the wild. Welcome back. On this day in 1993, dime-sized hail hit in Eddy County and Harding County, so across the southeast plains. And 60 mile per, 69 mile per hour wind gusts occurred in Doña Ana County. There was also a funnel cloud that was reported. So all that severe weather hitting mainly in southern New Mexico. We do have a chance for storms today that I am tracking in the forecast. All right, time now for the five facts you need to know before you go. At number five, the city of Albuquerque is adding another museum, and this one is helping you get a better selfie. 
Click Selfie Center opened this weekend right across from the fairgrounds near Lomas and San Pedro. The owner says he was inspired by selfie museums around the nation. Each station is equipped with a ring light and phone holder. Coy says that this is the perfect time to open up a business like this and to create memories that last forever. Number four now. This morning, police are asking for your help in finding a missing elderly Navajo woman. Authorities say 62 year old Ella May Begay and her silver Ford F 150 were reported missing last week. Her family believes that she was taken from her home in Sweetwater, Arizona. As of this morning, police have identified 21 year old Preston Tolt as a person of interest in the case. Police say that Tolt was in the area around the same time Begay went missing. And at number three, get ready for more hot temperatures. Temperatures, if you are west of the central mountain range, we'll be making it back into the 80s, 90s, and 100s there. Eastern New Mexico, you guys are in for some relief with 70s and 80s in the forecast today. Number two, a new map released by the feds shows disparities in broadband access throughout the nation. Here in New Mexico, some areas were hit really hard. The past year showed a major dependence on internet for some New Mexicans. Some students in our state had to find ways to do their work outside of their home. The map released by the U.S. Department of Commerce says that only 16% of residents in Bernalillo County are without internet access. However, areas like the East Mountains and McKinley County are in need of high speed broadband access. Finally, number one for you this morning. We're waiting to learn if a body found in the Rio Grande near TRC is linked to a possible missing child in that same area. A welfare check was made for five year old Shaquille Ferguson Jr. last week by family members. They told police the child was last seen with another family member about two and a half weeks ago near the Rotary Park in Truth or Consequences. On Friday, a New Mexico State Police dive team located a body in the river about six miles from that park. The body found has not been positively identified as Ferguson Jr. Oh, my, will determine that.